The Irem Collection Volume 1 featured three classic arcade shmups in a number of different forms. Volume 2 has just been released, and now that we've got the shmups out of the way, we've got two run-and-gun classics and, uh, another shmup. IREM's second retro collection for current consoles includes three more arcade titles from the 1990s. We'll start with a look at the vertical shooter of the group, 1990's Air Duel, where you get the Japanese arcade ROM and that's that. It was never released anywhere else in any form. Air Duel is a more down-to-earth shooter than the space-themed game seen in the previous collection, although there are still some alien shenanigans going on here. And it's pretty basic. You choose from either a plane or a helicopter, and you blow up other planes, or helicopters, or tanks, or sometimes big doors that don't really lead to something cool. Seriously, the last boss of the game is a big door. Choosing the plane gives you access to slightly more powerful shots as you collect power-ups, while choosing the helicopter lets you shoot diagonally as you bank left or right, which is similar to a game called Gyrodyne, another helicopter shooter I played for a video earlier this year. You also have a handful of smart bombs that will clear a path in front of you when you fire them. There are seven fairly brief, somewhat easy levels to blast your way through, but upon completion, the game throws you into a New Game Plus type situation, where you repeat those seven levels again, except everything is now way more difficult. Complete these additional levels and you'll get some bonus story information at the end. Air Duel is perfectly acceptable. It's just that Image Fight kind of spoiled me on what these IRM vertical shooters can be. I'm glad I played through it, I just don't know if I would ever return to it. The other two games in this collection might as well be Bullet Hell Shmups 2, but that's not how they're classified, of course, because here in video games we have to have 700 different genre designations. I'm just gonna call them Contra likes, though, because they're very much that run and gun shooters that have you battling a lot of dudes, doors, and then eventually aliens. Gun Force, or as it's more properly known, Gun Force Battle Fire Engulfed Terror Island, was released to arcades in 1991 and ported to the Super Nintendo in 1992. Both English versions and their Japanese counterparts are available here. You are an elite soldier infiltrating the inflated battle tire fight island thing, and after destroying thousands of dudes with multiple power-ups and vehicles, you blow up some walls and some doors and then the aforementioned aliens. It is quite literally a blast. I have always loved Gun Force and was delighted to get another chance to play through it. And also to get to see this SNES version for the first time, which is... Well, it's structurally accurate to the original arcade game, but given the choice, yeah, I'm gonna stick with the arcade version. Also, you should be aware that the SNES version has limited continues, so you can't just blast your way through it like you can with the arcade game. You have to play it for real. Gun Force 2 was a 1994 exclusive arcade sequel that was known as Geostorm in Japan. Coincidentally, I drove a Geostorm in 1994. Anyway, both versions are available here, and again, aside from the title screens, I'm not aware of any other differences. Gun Force 2 does what all good 90s sequels do. More of everything. More aliens, more vehicles, and way more explosions. Now, every version of Gun Force 2 that I've played, including the one in this collection, features some insane amounts of slowdown and random glitchiness and blinking. While it's not surprising since the game is doing a crazy amount of things with every possible inch of the screen, I always felt like maybe this game wasn't exactly finished before it was released to arcades. The way there's not even a hint of an ending before it just loops you right back around to level 1 just kind of fuels my theory on that. Also, some of the music here is just remixed from various levels in Air Duel the first game in this collection. Everything feels like it needed one more pass or one more week. Otherwise, it's really great. So at this time, I'm going to showcase some additional gameplay from Gun Force and Gun Force 2 because I really like these games. However, this is a little different. A few years ago, my buddy Chris, who passed away recently, and I, we had the show called Let's Slay, where we played through a lot of games very much like these. And in fact, we played through both of these in separate episodes of that show. So while I'm paying a brief tribute to my late friend here with these clips, I also think they are a good example of just how much fun these kinds of games are when you play them in co-op with a friend, which you can do here in this collection. 
While both gun forces are great, you're just not going to get this level of fun when you're playing solo. I'll have some closing thoughts afterwards. Gun force. Battle, fire, and Gulf terror island. <laughs> This is like all the words, aren't it? It is. It's pretty much every word. <laughs> pretty good. Mm. Oh, I ran out of auto. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I want to calm down. Okay. Oh! Get your ass in here! Oh, no! I lost my auto. Hold on. <laughs> oh, God damn it! Oh, I got the Baz Lerman. Give me the Baz Lerman again. Oh, it's going to be musical numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Can I fly this helicopter? Yes! What?! <laughs> Let's Baz Lerman this the fuck up, come on! <laughs> oh, did you just kill that guy with the rotors? Yes. I hope you did. Oh, did I lose my Baz? I lost my Baz. Baz salts. It's okay, we're in the helicopter. <laughs> you don't need to get high. <laughs> we're already high. In our helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what people want, is dumb people playing video games. <laughs> Man, nice, nice range of motion on this thing. Yeah, <laughs> fucking fire everywhere. Oh, you know how you can get killed by them blocks. Sure. Oh, what is what is this little <laughs> laughing rumor in here? <laughs> <laughs> Always with the hot references. <laughs> it's Chuck. <laughs> Not ride shotgun with you. Oh, I'm on a motorcycle. Give me on the mo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stunts. <laughs> Gun force All right. is awesome. Yeah, I was gonna say this just this just went to a whole new level. <laughs> are you? Are Whoa! You, what is this you? fucking wall of guns? Yeah, this this wall sucks. Worst wall. <laughs> this is a bad wall. Yeah. Don't build this wall. <laughs> Don't build the other one either. <laughs> Don't build any walls. No, walls are bad. Yeah. Anyway, here's Wonder Wall. Seriously, <laughs> this fucking wall. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> this island sucks. Worst vacation ever. <laughs> Why are we infiltrating it? This, this is the worst place. I, I seriously think we should just let this island go. Like, I mean... <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, come on, Mech. You can make it through there. <laughs> you just gotta believe. <laughs> um, okay. I'm sure this is a good room. I'm sure nothing weird is... Oh, Mother Brain. Hi, how are you? Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, it's... Uh... Oh, they got sleeve stacks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it tastes like fucking rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see the bad guy we're shooting at. Oh no, missiles and stuff. Look out for missiles and stuff. Yeah, it's the fucking rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> or it's some... a weird battle cry for you. <laughs> hey, it tastes the fucking rainbow. <laughs> I mean, skills got real aggressive with their marketing uh -huh. eventually. Oh, man, is that ours to drive? Yes! Oh, look at you. Oh, look at all these ladies. Hey, ladies. Yeah. Get, you should form okay. a cheerleader squad or something. You can't just throw a rocket at me, dude. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you will pay for that. You son of a bitch. Oh, oh no. Someone's water heater has gone bad. <laughs> Oh, hello! Look out, Ninja! <laughs> What's up, anime character? What? Uh, Whoa! That's... What are you doing? <laughs> you can't do that! Oh, man! Uh, right okay. on! Right on! Oh, yeah! Mounted gun! <laughs> Mounted gun, son! Are you guys part of Gun Force? <laughs> Okay. What? What is what is this now? I don't know, but apparently got to rescue ladies from the Hang on, man. Donkey Kong Jr. level. <laughs> yeah, we're on bikes Hell yeah. now. Oh, fuck yes. Fucking stunts. Yes. Stunts. <laughs> Stunt my way all down this way. Come on. <laughs> stunts. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. <laughs> 
<laughs> Gun force, don't fuck around! Ah, we got bikes, guns, fuck whatever you're mining. It's now my new favorite game of all time. It's pretty good. <laughs> this much stunting. Yeah. There's a lot of stunting going on here. Ugh. Stunting on multiple levels. I'll stunt up here. Oh no! I'll stunt down okay, there. Okay. I oh, what do you what do you think? You were gonna have a bike? You just have to run down. Yeah. Like run stun. <laughs> Infinite runner. Run stun. St stun runner. Oh okay. <laughs> Apparently you can reach up. Uh oh! Look out for his big ass bell. Taste my gun. Oops. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 There. Spooky! Ah, man, games are so good. I love games. <laughs> I also love games. Yeah, they're great. These two games are always going to be ones I remember fondly because of the time Chris and I spent with them. But even without that, they are legit great times. Anyway. Invite your best buddy over for some couch co-op and blast through these two. We could all use some fun with friends right now. Speaking overall about the collection, you still get lots of graphics and gameplay options for the games including global leaderboards, although the score challenges that were included in Volume 1 are not a part of this release. Now, if you remember for Volume 1, there was an issue with the Xbox version of the collection where it kept asking you to verify your account over and over and over as you moved throughout the games. I'm sad to say that continues here. It makes no sense unless this is actually seven completely different apps all stitched together, in which case that's just bad planning. Also, I'm not sure why the developers separated out the two platforms of Gun Force on the main menu. In the first volume, all five versions of Image Fight were contained within one selection wheel. But here, Gun Force is broken up by platform, with the Super Nintendo and Super Famicom games getting one section while the arcade ROMs get another. And if I'm gonna keep nitpicking about changes from volume one to volume two, they changed the insert coin button from clicking in the right thumbstick to clicking in the left thumbstick. That is so random. <laughs> anyway, as I said with the first collection, these games are great, and while they hold more personal memories for me than the first group, I'd still be recommending it even if I was just now coming to them for the first time ever. Minor quibbles aside, these collections are two for two so far, and I want more of these. It's a definite recommendation. That's it for this review. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I know everyone says that, and I know everyone says this, but liking and subscribing really helps out. And best of all, it's totally free to do. Costs nothing, just a simple click, and it really helps me a great deal. So I would appreciate it. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again shortly. Please take care.